is Monday and I'm off. Isn't that nice? I don't have to work Mondays. I'm sorry that y'all have to work Mondays. But I don't have to work Mondays. But I have to work Saturdays. So, you know. You know. Okay. So, today I'm actually going to show you how I prep my skin because I'm going to try some new products that I got in my Ipsy back. So, I have been using this Liani Eco 3 in 1 Revolution Light. It's supposed to be a toner, a serum, and a moisturizer in one. And it has broken my face out, so I'm going to keep using it. I mean, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily lightened my face or anything like that, but it hasn't broken it out either. So, you know, we're just going to roll with it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to take the glasses off. I understand this is like a travel size product, but it's not very, like, I wish I had like a pump or something, even though it is travel size. You always got to moisturize. Do y'all see how bad my under eye circles today are? Yeah. Um, your girl is definitely going to have to purchase the um, Ole Hendrickson again because I didn't know it was getting that bad. Today, I'm going to be using my professional because I haven't used it in like three days because I forgot. Please don't tell me it's out. I have another one just in case it is, but there we go. I'm like using this little baby to the last drop. We are not getting rid of, rid of it until I see no more in there. That's like the last empties I'm waiting on because I know that's going to be empty soon. So I'm like waiting on that before I feel an empties. I don't know what this stuff is, but it like takes my breath away. I don't even know. But it's not like a bad smell. Ah! But y'all know by now what my foundation is, don't y'all? I'll tell you again, it's the Sephora 10 Hour Wear Foundation in light, number 12. My brushes are getting a bath today. The reason I chose this today is because I was having a good skin day. And so, you know. This is lighter colors than the color today, or the naked, so. I didn't know I was getting that low in this. What? Oh well. It's my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Under Eye Circle Eraser. I'm just using my stipple brush to go underneath the eyes and stipple in the product. I really like this. I remember when I was like, I don't need an under eye eraser. I don't need an under eye eraser. And then uh, I tried it and now I'm kind of hooked. So, you know. just illuminates so well like that whole area so and that was put on my silver brush next thing is the powder 
So let me get my powder brush. And I don't know if I've ever said this, but I use the L Professional Total Face Brush as my powder brush. It's seen better days, but you know. And I just put that all over and I have my Rimmel Stay Matte and Transparent. <coughs> Excuse me. And transparent, if I can say it correctly. Without choking. Whoop. Done with that. I need a bigger vanity. That is something I'm going to be working on in the next couple of months is uh, just a bigger vanity area because I feel like I really need one. I mean, I have a tiny little desk that has all my makeup on it. I have like a, a five drawer organizer that is packed to the rim. I really need to have like a separate one for eyeshadows and everything. So, oh, St. Lucia Elf Bronzer and the duo, but it's St. Lucia. The first day... I went to, um, I hate having long nails, put stuff underneath them. <sighs> Anyways, I went to Target and I was just going to look for a new one of these and I found Fiji, which is the matte one. Well, I didn't know it was the matte one at the time. And I was like, I don't want Fiji, I want the one I always get on with St. Lucia, not knowing that it was the matte one. Now I can't find it anywhere. I'm like, really? <laughs> guess I'll just have to order it like everybody else, even though it was at my Target for a limited time. Now it is my next blush in peach. As you can tell, it's very much loved. Also, just a little highlight to everybody. I finally found NYX in a um, CDS. Everybody was saying that NYX was going to some drugstores, but I've never found any anywhere. Leave it to me to find it yesterday where I found those Maybelline matte lipsticks. So... Also found the Wet n Wild um, Halloween collection, but all they had was the one that I didn't want. So there's only one out of that whole collection I want. It's like the bronzy one because I love my bronzes so much. The rest of them I have similar colors like that, so I don't really need them. And the bright matte colors, I'm just not into that. So you know, ain't gonna buy something I ain't gonna wear. I don't care if it's just because it's a limited edition. I'm just not going to do that. So. Call me crazy. I am going in with my usual. You know I love this baby. I don't think this thing is ever going to die. <laughs> like if I waited for this thing to go. I mean really. It'd be crazy. And this is the blush brush, too. Both of these are blush brushes from e.l.f. They're, um, studio line. I thought about getting a fan brush to do it and put it on, but, I mean, this works fine. I mean, you know. So, also last night what I got, and I'm really excited for, is I have the other two, um, Melrose at Night and, um, Angels and Aberdeen, the last one I did a Get Ready With Me video with, and I haven't done one with Smoke and Melrose because I haven't been able to find it, and this is the one I really wanted to find because I heard it was comparable to a lot of shadows in the Urban Decay Naked 3. So, 
I finally found it last night where I found my lipsticks and so I'm so excited to play with it today. So this is the palette we're going to be using today. I love my Wet n Wild Shadows, girls. You know I do. Ain't no joke. Everything is like being ridiculous today. This is my NYX eyeshadow base in just skin tone. I'm just going to put it all over the lid. I really like this eyeshadow base. And I completely forgot that I did. And now that I found it again, it's like, oh snap color right here. This top color that says base because it looks like a good base. And we're just going to stipple it all over the lid and really hit that high brow bone. Kind of in love guys. I'm really excited. Some fallout. We're going to go in with this gold color right here and this says crease on it but I'm not going to use that for my crease but it's not light enough for my crease <laughs> and we're just going to put this all over the lid next I think I'm going to go in with this eyelid color in my crease We're going to try that one. See what that comes out with. We're going to try it. I don't know if it's really going to work, but we're going to try. Try anything once, right? Okay. Okay. It's had some depth. Oh, okay. Didn't know if it would or not, guys. So, I'm going to go in with my crease brush. Touch that base. And just clear it up, clean it up, clean it up. Let me try something. Okay, so that's the basic eye look. I'm gonna go in with this color. And it's just, um, it's called Fringe. But it's like a brown color. So, now I put this on. And I'm really wanting to use this maroon color that is in here. Because I think it's really pretty. So, what I'm going to do now is, I don't know if you know this or not, but I love using these to find our shades. This is from Wet n Wild. So I'm going in with this. It's like a maroon color. It's really, really pretty. And I'm going to go over the eyeliner. Just lightly go over it. Just to add a little something, something, and bring in like the rich, almost rose gold tones in the eyeshadow. So I'm going to do that on the top and the bottom. I kind of like it. I kind of like the effect. It like smokes it out a little bit. I think it looks good. All right, so we're gonna put my Urban Decay on. My Perversion, bigger, blacker, better. <laughs> we're just gonna coat. Make sure you get all the black, ladies and gents. Make sure you get all the white or else. This is what the eye like looks like. I'm going to go in and do the other eye and I will be right back. Old Divine Wine today. Cute. 
cute. I really like this color. I think it's a little bit darker than... Let me just see. No, it's the same color. Get a little bit of shine. It's the exact same color. So, you know. But I love it. So here's my look today. Cause I, today, guys, I used the Divine Wine Matte Lipstick. And I used my Smoke and Melrose. 